okay in the i button and in description box below you will get the complete playlist of multiple integrals welcome to video number 19 and from this video onwards we are going to start a new topic that is beta and gamma function okay we are going to study both separately as well as we will solve some problems based on both that is beta and gamma function so let us start with beta function first in this particular video we are going to see some uh, uh, important property of beta function general formula of beta function and some other useful formulas that are used while solving the problems based on beta gamma function beta function so first of all we will see the general formula so we can say that is the the beta function is defined as beta of m comma n is equals to integration limit goes from 0 to 1 x to the power m minus 1 into 1 minus x power n minus 1 dx so beta of m comma n is given by integration limit is from 0 to 1 x to the power m minus 1 into 1 minus x power n minus 1 dx where we can say where m is greater than 0 and n is again greater than 0 this condition has to be satisfied if beta is this that is beta of m comma n okay this equals to this is very 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 important formula okay it is integration limit goes from 0 to 1 x to the power m minus 1 1 minus x power n minus 1 dx now this is the general formula now put x equals to 1 minus y okay because we want to get an important property of beta function so we are going ahead that is put x equals to 1 minus y on integrating or uh, on differentiating you will get dx equals to minus of dy okay on differentiating this you will get dx equals to here will be, it, this will be 0 and this will be minus of dy so we can write that is beta of m comma n is equals to integration here the limit that is 0 to 1 is of x this limit is the limit of x but here we will write the limit of y so on putting x equal to 0 here that is lower limit of x if you put x equal to 0 here take this minus y to the left hand side you will get y equals to 1 so on x equal to on uh, where when x equal to 0 y equals to 1 again when you put x equal to 1 1 1 will get cancelled what you will get that is y equals to 0 so when x equal to 0 y equals to 1 when x equals to 1 y equals to 0 okay this is the limit for y that is limit for y goes from 1 to 0 here in place of x we will put 1 minus y 1 minus y power m minus 1 okay 1 minus of x that is 1 minus y so minus minus will become positive power is n minus 1 in place of dx we will write minus of dy so here we will write minus of dy now moving ahead taking this negative sign here common out of this integration limit goes from 1 to 0 this will be as it is that is 1 minus y power m minus 1 we can cancel this one okay what is left that is y to the power n minus 1 and here we have dy okay now again this limit is from 1 to 0 if we change the limit that is from 0 to 1 then again a negative sign will common okay this limit is from 1 to 0 if we take this limit as 0 to 1 then we have to take one negative sign so negative negative will become positive if the limit is from 0 to 1 so we can rewrite this as limit 0 to 1 negative sign will come out from this and this negative negative will become positive so again writing this first that is y to the power n minus 1 then writing this that is 1 minus y power m minus 1 d y so if you compare this and this okay if you compare this and this you will find this is what this is beta of n comma n okay so we can say there is an important property that is beta of m comma n is equals to beta of n comma n so we can rewrite this here that is beta of m comma n is equals to 
bit of n comma m this is an important property okay this is an important property of beta function okay now again we will put x equals to sin square theta to get another uh, formula for beta function so we can say dx will become 2 sin theta cos theta d theta okay so we can say that is beta of m comma n is equals to first we will write the limit okay here the limit is of x but now we will put the limit of theta okay because we are changing from x to theta so when the lower limit of x that is 0 if you put that here if you put x equal to 0 here then sin square theta equal to 0 that means sin theta equal to 0 so then sin theta will become 0 when theta equals to 0 so we can say the lower limit of theta is 0 okay now the upper limit of x is 1 so put here 1 so we can say sin square theta is 1 that means sin theta is 1 sin theta value is 1 when theta equals to pi by 2 so we can say the upper limit of theta is pi by 2 okay now here we have x to the power m minus 1 what is x that is sin square theta so we can write here that is sin square theta power m minus 1 okay similarly here we have 1 minus x power n minus 1 so write that is 1 minus sin square theta power n minus 1 again we have dx and what is dx that is 2 sin theta cos theta so right here that is 2 sin theta cos theta d theta okay now we can write this 2 here integration 0 to pi by 2 this is okay this we can write as sin of power is 2 m minus 2 2 m minus 2 theta okay similarly here what is 1 minus sin square theta that is cos square theta so we can write this as cos of power cos theta power 2 n minus 2 2 n minus 2 theta here we have we here we have written to so this will be sin theta cos theta d theta fine now 2 is as it is integration limit is from 0 to pi by 2 we can multiply this sin theta so this will be sin theta power 2 m minus 1 into cos here we have cos theta power 2 n minus 2 into cos theta that is 2 n minus 1 theta d theta so this is an important formula of beta of m my comma n so again this is another important formula that we need to know okay so this is another form of beta function again we also have another formula for this beta function that is also i am writing the formula that is beta of m comma n is equals to 0 to infinity x to the power m minus 1 upon 1 plus x power m plus n dx which is equals to integration limit goes from 0 to infinity x to the power n minus 1 upon 1 plus x power m plus n dx this is again an important formula okay that are used while solving beta function problems so this is all about beta function so here you can see first of all we have uh, seen the general formula of beta function that is beta of m comma n is equals to integration limit goes from 0 to 1 x to the power m minus 1 into 1 minus x power n minus 1 dx where m and n both are equal both are greater than 0 so again put x equals to 1 minus y then you will get an important property that is beta of m comma n is equals to beta of n comma m this is very 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 important property then you achieved another uh, another formula of beta function then 
this is again an important formula for beta function so that's it for this video in the next video we will see gamma function thank you